Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Thursday, September 30th. Today's last day of September, which is crazy. But uh, it's also exciting because I love October. <laughs> Anyways, I will be starting Vlogtober tomorrow, October 1st. And I'm going to try to do as much as I can, but uh, I can't guarantee there will be daily videos. <laughs> but anyways, today I wanted to share with you a little thrift shopping haul because it's Thursday, so it's Thrifty Thursday. <laughs> and also some happy mail that I received recently from uh, some viewers and friends. Friend viewers. Viewer friends. <laughs> the, you know, everybody. Whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. So I'm going to do the thrift store first because it's right here. And then we'll go into the happy mail. <laughs> But, okay, so first, my thrift store, my local thrift store, the one that's, like, literally down the road from here, um, is a local, locally owned, non-profit thrift store. It is ran by Christian Ministries, but, um, all their profits go towards, um, community outreach and stuff like that for different, uh, what's that, what, what am I looking for? Different programs the city runs, <laughs> and, um. So yeah, so I like shopping there. Better than like Goodwill and all that. That just kind of makes some rich person richer. But anyways, they got their Christmas stuff out in full swing. So this was in their Christmas section, but it's not really Christmassy. But it's a little candle holder. I forgot what these are actually called. Candle, candle bra or something like that. I can't remember. Um, I don't know if there's any identification on it. It's heavy. It's real... Metal, it kind of feels like it might be nickel or something. I don't know. I'm not good at metals. It feels like the kind of metal that you could break easily if you wanted to, but I don't want to break it. But it's really cute. It's gold. It's got five candle holes for little candles. I got to get some little candles for it. But I thought this would be cute on our table for the holidays. Um, I might, it needs to be cleaned. And I might, if after I clean it, I might see if, uh, if I want Devin to paint it. Because I don't know if I want it painted or not. I haven't made my mind. <laughs> it's like a gold color right now. I don't see any writing underneath the, uh, down here. But it is really dirty. It needs to be cleaned. I'm not sure what kind of metal it is, though, so I gotta clean it carefully. <laughs> but I just thought it was so cute. It's pretty little, and it takes little tiny candles. But I just think it'd be cute sitting on our table for the holidays with, like, a Christmas table runner, you know. It'd be cute. So I got that. It was $1.99, by the way. <laughs> it's really heavy. And then also, whoops, in the Christmas section, I got this. This, it's got jingle bells on it. It's like a little book. It looks vintage, but it's not. Um, it's got an accordion spine. It's just vintage -y looking, and it's like a uh, scrapbook slash photo album. You know, it's got blank cardstock pages in it that I thought would be fun to put pictures from all of our Christmases. Ever since me and Devin started dating all the way to, you know, now, and then keep putting in there. It was handmade by somebody. Because it has on the back of it, it's stamped, it's in a stamp, like an ink stamp. It says made by one girl, and then it's written, signed, by, <clears throat> I think it says, uh, Elisa or Elisa, uh, Morris is what it looks like, 2003. I don't know if you get to see that. I want to Google that and see if maybe that was someone who had an Etsy shop, or if it was just someone who was local to here, you know. But I just thought it was so cute because it looks vintage. The little print is so cute. And it's got another vintage print on the spine. And I just thought it would be cute to put uh, like 4 by 6s of our family photos for Christmas in here and fill it up over the years. And uh, it's just cute. That was 99 cents. So I was excited about that. Alright, so I got me an ugly Christmas sweater. Because <laughs> I have a bunch of Christmas clothes that you guys have probably seen in past videos. But this year they're not going to fit because my stomach's going to be significantly larger than it normally is around the holidays. I will be in the early 30s in December. I think I'll be 33 weeks on Christmas. So I'm going to have a big belly. So I got this ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> uh, it's from Walmart originally because it's a no boundaries sweater. But I just thought it was cute. It's got a reindeer on it. And it says Santa's favorite. And it's um, sequins, so it's shiny. It's got long sleeves that are knit, machine knit, uh, with Christmas things on it. And it's got a hood that is like an elf hood. <laughs> so I just thought that was cute. But this should fit me around the holidays, hopefully. Because all my favorite shirts I always wear will not fit me. And uh, it's just cute. It's got jingle bells around his uh, collar. And I just had to get that because <laughs> it was cute. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was $4. I 
Then I got a Christmas dress, but this is for next Christmas. This definitely won't fit me this year. <laughs> but after I don't have a baby belly, this fit me. It's just an elf dress. <laughs> I wasn't going to get it, but Devin told me to just go ahead and get it. But it's just an elf dress that should fit me next year, assuming I don't keep all my baby weight. <laughs> but um, I don't know what brand it is because it doesn't have a big tag. It just has a tag right there. <laughs> but uh, it'll fit me next year if I lose my stomach <laughs> after June comes out. And that was, I think, 6 or $7. And then I got a Christmas shirt. This is just a t-shirt. Again, it doesn't have a size in it. It doesn't have a tag at all on it. So this might be a shirt someone made. I don't know. With like a cricket or something. But it is just a, like a pinky color shirt. And it has, it's the most wonderful time of the year on it. And this is bigger than my average size. So that there would be room for baby belly. <laughs> it's also really long. And I like that. Because, um, my stomach, you know, extends out further. So I need a longer shirt to cover everything. <laughs> Yeah, so that was my thrift haul. Um, this shirt was $4 too, I think. Their Christmas clothes were a little bit more expensive than their regular clothes, I guess, because of, you know, being novelty. But yeah, I was super excited about that. I can't wait to um, use that little candle thing and the Christmas clothes, because I love Christmas. But yeah, so that was my thrift haul this week. I spent, let's see here, one, two, three, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 17-ish dollars maybe. I actually spent more that day because I uh, got Devin got some pants and some things but that was the stuff that I picked out <laughs> so that's all I'm counting but so I did, did get two packages recently happy mail some is yarn or one is yarn and one is books so this first one came with this card but she didn't write in it she told me that I could use the, you know she sent it to me so I could use the card but it says crocheting forever and it's just a blank card that I can use to send to someone else which is sweet. And inside that card were two teas. And I love this one. I don't drink a lot of teas, but this is my favorite one. I got some of this last year in either a Christmas card or a swab or something. <laughs> and it's the Twinings, Twinings? Uh, Winter Spice. And it is so good. So I got one of those. And this one is Chai Pumpkin Spice. So I haven't tried that, so I'll try it. And her name is Doris. This is Doris from the Rose Cottage... I always forget that last part. It's either crafts or crochet. I can't remember. Uh, that's her handle. I don't think she has any content, though. She needs to, though. <laughs> I've been seeing that she's sent a lot of stuff to a lot of people. So she told me um, that the card was for, you know, me to use. And she sent this yarn because she uh, told me in an email a while ago that it would be nice for, like, a baby thing. It's crinkly. It's ice yarn. So here it is. There's one of them. There's two packages of the same thing. So there's eight balls total. And I don't know. Let's see here. It's called Magic Lot. It's a DK3. And it's 360 meters per ball. I'm not sure how many yards that is. <laughs> but there's eight of them, so that's quite a bit. I can make a big old blanket for that. And I might just do that. So thank you so much for that. It is so pretty. I love anything rainbow. Anything. Now this next box I was not expecting. At least I don't remember I was expecting it. <laughs> But it was sent, and it was very heavy. My poor mail lady had trouble lifting it because she's had surgery recently on her arm. And then I had a hard time getting it to the car. Because it is a, a priority box full of crochet books. Get them out in globs so that I don't hurt myself. <laughs> there is a note in here somewhere. Let me find it. It's in between one of these books. I know what's in here somewhere because I read it. Ah, there it is. The very bottom. <laughs> but anyways, this was the box. So it's just one of the large flat rate boxes and it was heavy. Whew. So this is from Diana. And she said that she was downsizing and that she thought that I would be interested in these books. And if there's some that I don't want, I can just share them with someone else. So I'll do that in the future for sure. All right, let's just get started. There's a bunch. <laughs> So this one is called Oh Baby Crochet by House of White Birches. Perfect timing. <laughs> so it's just got a bunch of baby patterns in it. Lots of cute things. I flipped through these a little bit, but I haven't really like sat down and looked at them. And then there is Positively Crochet, 50 Fashionable Projects and Inspirational Tips by Mary Jane Hall. Pretty sweater. Just I'm not going to go through these books because it takes forever. There's a whole stack of them. <laughs> uh... Get Your Crochet On, Hip Hats and Cool Caps by 
AFA, a name I can't say and I don't want to mess it up. But it's got a lot of cool hat patterns in it. I did flip through this one too. Because hats are cool. <laughs> Lots of cool patterns. This is a felting book. This is Complete uh, Felt Making. Easy Techniques and 25 Great Projects by Jillian Harris. About felting. <laughs> This one is Rag Rug 16 Easy Crochet Projects to Make with Strips of Fabric by Suzanne McNeil. I have a lot of fabric. <laughs> I always wanted to make one of those rag rugs, I just never got around to it. This is another felting one. I've always wanted to try needle felting. It is Needle Felting Art Techniques and Projects by Anne Vic Vic Vickery. Felting Projects. This one is Hooks Only Crochet from Start to Finish. Create colorful projects with no needles required <laughs> by House of Birches also. So that's got a bunch of random crochet patterns in it. And then Hooked Throws 20 Easy Crochet Projects by Margaret Her Hubert. Bunch of throw patterns. I don't see any of them. <laughs> There's some on the back. <clears throat> Felted Crochet, Bags, Pillows, Bowls, Hats, Throws by Jane Davis. <laughs> this is where you make it with wool and then you like wash it a certain way, isn't it? I think. Something like that. <laughs> I've heard of it. This one is so cute. Cute and easy. <laughs> crochet. Learn to crochet with these 35 adorable patterns by Nikki Trench. It's like cute cottagey type patterns. I flipped this one too. This one I love a lot. <laughs> this is Boho Crochet. 30 hip and happy projects. It's like a bunch of scrap projects, which I love. I'm excited about that. That doesn't say who's behind. This one is The Big Book of Crochet. Over 120 projects. Fashions, Afghans, Baby, and more. Uh, from the Crochet with Heart magazine. This is a big, thick book. It's got a lot of patterns in it. It's going to take a while to go through all these. <laughs> and then this one was actually on my wish list, my Amazon wish list. So I was excited to see this one in the box. And it's Animal Heads, Trophy Heads to Crochet by Vanessa Munsey. And it's fake, <laughs> fake taxidermied heads. And I've been wanting this. I can't really see any of the pictures. Oh, look at those. <laughs> but uh, that's exciting. I'm going to have to make some of those. And then there was two Emmy Emmy Dogs. And Emmy Emmy Dogs too. So it's a bunch of little dog crochet patterns. A bunch of cute little doggies. So there's one and number two. <laughs> Look at the little dogs. So cute. So that's a big old stack of books. <laughs> that was so heavy. It was 15 pounds. I think is what the box said. 15.6 pounds. <laughs> that's a lot of books. But now I'm going to go through all these and see what all patterns I want to try to make. And some of these books I probably will do giveaways for in the future. Because I don't know if I'll, I'm interested in felting. <laughs> I don't know. Like this kind of felting. I want a needle felt, but I don't know about this. And um, I don't know. I just have to look through and see if there's enough patterns in a book to necessitate me keeping it. Or if I could just copy that pattern and then give the book to someone else. So we'll do that. But that's my happy mail and my little thrift haul. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. I have dinner in the oven right now. It's cooking. And it's chicken and potatoes. Just very, really simple recipe. But I will see you guys tomorrow for the first day of Vlogtober. I'm super excited about it because I love Halloween. I've already been finding some trunk or treats coming up. Jesse's uh, school break is from the 11th through the 15th that week, I think. And we're going to be going to the pumpkin patch that week. We're thinking about going to Boo at the zoo again this year. We went last year and it was all fun. What else was we doing? I can't remember now. <laughs> but just a lot of things. We always do a lot of family things uh, around this time of year. It's a lot of fun to just get out and enjoy the nicer weather. <laughs> so I'll be trying to share as much of that as possible with you guys through vlogs and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.